I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. Good morning. That's it how is you sail. 11.30 and I'm still in my pajamas. Because I can. And we are sailing. That was literally our best one we've ever done, by far. So yeah, we just left there five minutes ago. And we've already got the main up and the head sail. And we got it up perfectly. Nothing got caught, got it up super quick. So yeah, we're sailing to Corfu today, which is our last Greek island. Oh, we're going too slow for them, honey. No, they're just playing around. Where'd they go? They're like, nah, you're going too slow. Can you see them? We just had dolphins kind of playing around underneath the boat, but we're going way too slow, so they're not going to get any speed with us, so they've left us. We're sailing downwind the whole way today, and we've only got like seven and a half to nine knots. And we're going pretty slow at the moment, only about two and a half knots, so Jason has decided to get the cruising chute up. So we're just setting it up. That catamaran over there has got theirs up, which kind of sparked the idea. Uh, the light wind has sparked the idea. Yeah, but you also saw them. And I'm putting it up the wrong way, which is awesome. That'll do the job, eh? This is so much fun. We've got the kite up. We've got about 10 knots of wind. Still got a bit of flapping at the back and the bottom. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's, there is a way, but there's no leech lines on it or anything. I just don't know whether it's just one of those sails where that just happens. We're nearly at Corfu. Had a very chilled sail today. Motor's come on a few times. Motor's on now. Yeah. We're nearly there though. Yeah, like half an hour away. We've put the cruising chute up, we've taken the cruising chute down, we've taken the sails, the everything. We've done literally every kind of sail you can possibly imagine today. Yeah. And we're just motoring the last hour of it. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be cool to see Corfu Old Town. We've got to get some groceries, do some laundry, and figure out if this is where we're checking out of or if we can check out of the northern side of the island. So yeah, we'll get it all figured out, have a little look around. And it's bloody hot. It's like steaming because it's so still. I think it's 29 degrees or something today. So we're forecast with thunderstorms tomorrow. That's okay. We'll just um, get some stuff done inside. And, and then next week we've got like in the early mid thirties all week in Albania. So it's gonna be hot. Oh, you got me. So last 
good luck with that one. Oh, look at that sunset. Wow, amazing. Such a beautiful day. Ah! <laughs> you look like gold, honey. Jesus. Jesus, yeah. It's 11 p.m. and we were laying in bed about to go to sleep and you guys saw we showed you how calm it was before like glassed off and I did say to Jason calm before the storm so it's just started to pick up we've got like 15 knots constant um, and the swells starting to kind of build so um, we're just gonna try and we're gonna move and just try and tuck into the bay a little bit more so hopefully we'll get a little bit more protection at least from the swell um, so yeah, we're forecast for thunderstorms tomorrow, so sometimes it just brings unpredictable wind um, that wasn't forecast. So fingers crossed it just kind of dies and all it is is, you know, thunder and rain or whatever. So yeah, we are just gonna get moving now from where we are. We um, moved to this spot last night and I don't think it really helps that much to be honest. It's very swelly although it looks flat as per usual in the camera. <laughs> but we just got slammed last night with swell. The boat was just rocking up and down. You can kind of see it over there sometimes smashing up on the rocks a little bit. So yeah it's like 10.30 and we're only just waking up because we pretty much didn't get any sleep all night. So I think we might move today around the corner to the other side of town. There's like a little island there. So we might be able to get a bit of protection between the mainland, well, the main island and the little island. So um, we still haven't had any rain or thunder or anything and it was already supposed to be. So um, I looked at Google weather, which I don't know how accurate that is, but um, it says it's gonna thunder at like two o'clock or something and rain till 10 p.m. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I don't think we'll be doing too much today. So we'll see what it's like around the corner. If it's calm enough, maybe we can go and have a little walk around in town before this thunder's supposed to come. So yeah. Say hello. G'day, g'day. <laughs> Cue the rain, Google forecast wasn't right. And it's actually quite heavy for, you know, not being somewhere tropical. Whoa, this well's pretty big. Ready? Jesus Christ. Anyway, the boat's gonna get a nice rinse down, so that's good. Doesn't happen too often at this time of year. We've decided to move anchorages, so we've just left where we were over there. And we're gonna check out this island here where this ferry's going past and see if we can get a bit of protection there. Otherwise, we'll go over that way somewhere. A few lightning strikes happening. It's very dark and gloomy and foggy looking. We just had a little look. It's just changed, but we're going seven knots. So basically, it says we are. Which is pretty fast, so we're definitely going with the current yeah. right now and the swell. But it's definitely starting to flatten out as we get around the corner, which is nice. So now we just have to decide where to go, whether we go on the other side of this island or kind of just around the corner here. 
I'd probably prefer to go around the corner here because then it's close to town, whereas the island has like nothing on it except for deserted buildings, so. So we're just tucking around the side of this. So it should be pretty protected from the swell because it's pretty much coming straight for this island. So we'll be kind of around the back of it. Very dark and gloomy. Oh, would you look at that? Nice and flat here. So hopefully we don't get too much wind today. It's not forecast for anything too crazy, but you just never know. So we'll tuck in here for the day. How funny does it look? <laughs> oh god. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. How cool would that be with swell? This thing's just like flying across the top of the water. It's so strange. It's like half a plane, half a bloody boat. It sounds like a plane. We're in the bloody tropics here. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but it's mon it's monsoonal. Oh, it's <laughs> What's that random island over there? It looks, like a, it looks like a man's head with hair on top of it. <laughs> I was going to go spearfishing that rock. Oh, the boat's getting nice and clean, hopefully. Yeah, we don't have to wash the boat today. Really have the it's cold though when it rains. Yeah, bye. How nice is this, eh? Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up. <laughs> this is definitely the laziest we've been since winter. Um, we we really haven't left the saloon, have we? Or the, the galley. Yeah. This area, just here. We've been watching movies. But look at it outside, like. Yeah, it's pretty. Terrible outside. It's a good day to be lazy and it is actually Sunday, so. Janae's actually cooked up some really nice food here. Making um like the Asian lettuce cups. We don't have water chestnuts that are supposed to go in there, but um yeah, nice and healthy. And I, I did the lettuce cups, so I did the main part of the them, dish. You made them from scratch, hey? <laughs> I was nearly about to say good morning world. Good afternoon. It's afternoon already. <laughs> so it's about 12 o'clock here. We, we've we just both smashed a workout, finished our episode and... Now it's playtime. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely playtime. We've got a nice day outside. It's a bit cloudy, but we're gonna go snorkeling. Hopefully we see some fish and then hopefully we go for a spear dive after. Janae's just gonna lay on the sun lounge because she's boring, she doesn't want to come in the water unless she gets hot. Yeah, it's not that nice around here though. Like, it's not like really, really clear. That's the kind of water I like jumping in, I'm fussy. Fussy, yeah. see what I have to put up with. Um, but I just wanted to say that it's Monday, but Monday's like our Friday. Once we've posted our episode, we get to like play for a day or two before we start the next episode editing. But, so. we're, all, but we're still filming, so it's not we're really. We're filming, but like, this is kind of like, okay, we can, we don't have to edit for like a day or two. Yeah. Always filming, that never ends. All right, let's go for a swim. There's so many bream under here, it's crazy.
we're about to head to Corfu town. We're gonna check out a day early than we're supposed to. But yeah, we should um, get our last yido and enjoy our last few days in Greece. That'll be for a long time. Hey, Han. Yeah, like seriously. Like long time. it'll. Like, we might never come back here. That's crazy to think. I was about to cheers to know, but she's out of drink. So she's gonna get some more Baileys. Some more Queen Margot cream liqueur from Little. <laughs> Fake Baileys. Baileys. <laughs> <laughs> so Little sound Little sells like a what would you call it? It's basically the same thing. It's exactly the same, it's just another brand. It's like a rip-off of Baileys. Yeah. And it's, of Bailey, and it's so cheap. It literally tastes exactly the same. Like it's, it could be better. Cheers. Cheers to a new country tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited. A new beginning, a country we've never been to. I haven't been to a new country in like six months. <laughs> and we, we have some friends there too, so it should be good. And they, they're big time into scuba diving and activities and shit. So <laughs> I'm excited for it. Yeah. This is our last night in Greece. You sad? Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? I'm a little bit sad, but I'm excited to go somewhere new. We're never going to come back here. Don't say that. We will one day. We won't for a long time, I don't think. We could be back in like six weeks if we come with everyone to make it off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we will. I don't either, but you never know. So we're going to spend it in style. Getting yiddles, baby. Is that style? Maybe, maybe something else if we can find something cheap to have. Something else Greek, I don't know. We'll see. Yiddles. Do you want to start that before you, it doesn't start and we go floating into hey, eternity? Go this. Oh yeah. That's someone who service, services their tender. Right there. That's right. This old thing. <laughs> Pretty worn out. Should we name her Fang? Fang? It doesn't Fang though. <laughs> Look at this fancy yacht with the three masts. Crazy. How good is she at violence? <laughs> if that's not sexy, I don't know what is. <laughs> That'll be reversed back now. Just, just gonna fly out to the water. Just push us back. Push this on the wall. I, I can't. If I push, it pushes us out this way. I'll reverse back. I you didn't think this. about this, did you? <laughs> How are you going to get back in? I actually don't know. Are you sure this is a good idea? <laughs> See if there's somewhere I can tie it. There's not the closest points there. What are we it's gonna right. do? How are we gonna get back? Seriously. Oh, I didn't bring my shoes, hon. You better go back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you kidding? They were on the boat. <laughs> Whoa. It's insane. Today's been a really cheap date tonight. Two euro on a mojito. 280. 280. Jesus. <laughs> Not so cheap anymore. <laughs> That's still cheaper than anything I'd get out. And then we got a euro for three euro, and they're pretty nice. I rate them. Mm. Where? We don't even know where we are, to be honest. But we're close to town. We're at right? some random place that's just on the outskirts. But we're gonna go in for a drink. Mm. Sometimes One. these are the places that are the best. Yeah, it is good. Yummy Euro. Mm. It's got random sauce in it, but yummy. What are your thoughts on the, the old Corfu town? I don't even think we're really, we're like just about to come up to it. No, this is it. No, it's not. We're coming up to it now. What are your thoughts in Corfu in general? Um, where we've been so far. 
apart from the other day is pretty ugly, not gonna lie. But it's getting better as we're walking around. <laughs> Making it, you know, feel better for the people who live here? No, it's just like it's getting prettier as we get to the old town. The other parts of town are just a bit dingy looking, to be honest, but. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're getting to the nice part now with the pretty streets. You ready? I'll show you the nice part. Yeah. On our way back to our tender, I got an ice cream, icy cold. Jason got a takeaway beer. As per usual. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> 